Live. Oh, there we go. Now we're back. Hey, everybody. Spencer Jones here with Jones and to Get Fit, ready for our Monday night cooking show. We're great mixing it up a little bit, doing something different this week. Just let me share this quick, uh, as I do every time, so we can share it with as many people as possible so they can experience this wonderful video, hopefully wonderful video at least, live. All right, so let's see. We'll share it. Oh, camera's going crazy over here. We'll share it there. Got a couple different groups. And, uh, you know, as I'm sharing this and doing all that, feel free to share it yourself. Share it with different groups that you're in, whether with a friend, tag a friend in it. All that would be absolutely fantastic, and I would appreciate that if you, if you are able to. That would be awesome. So, let's see. Right there. We'll do one more here. Almost. Maybe if I could learn how to click the right thing, that'd be even better, wouldn't it? Um, there we go. Boom. All right. So, as I said, welcome to Jones and to Get Fit live cooking show. Uh, I'm Spencer Jones, right? Your host, uh, the person of Jones and to Get Fit. Um, in any case, uh, mixing it up this week, as you probably saw in the notification or in the post, right, itself, that we're mixing up. We're doing stuff a little bit different. Instead of cooking something for you and making you this healthy recipe, we're going to talk about the five tips, five tips to be successful with your diet, and that is meal prepping. If you can learn how to meal prep, you will make your life so much easier. You'll have much more success in the kitchen, and you will you'll go after your goals, your health and fitness goals. 80% um, really of what we do and of your health is diet, right? 20% is going to be um, 20% is working out, right? So you don't want to exclude that portion of it. You want to bring it, right? It's how you get, you know, shoulders and muscles and all that good stuff uh, is with the working out. But you need to make sure you're feeling yourself properly and doing all that correctly so that you can go after your dreams and you can live and spend the time with your family and your kids and go after your reason why, right? Why do I work out? I work out so I can spend more time with Katie and with the pets and I can relax, right? That's one of my reasons why I do it also so that I can go kayak fishing and I continue doing my hobbies, the things that I love to do, right? Keep teaching, keep fly fishing and waiting and, and visiting and traveling the country, doing all these fun things uh, without aches and pains and without the worries of my health slowing me down. That's why I do this. That's why I work out. That's why I love doing all these crazy things. So meal prepping is one thing that I do and Katie does uh, with me every week so that we can be successful with our diets, with our working out, and just our healthy lifestyle. So we have five tips for you um, for meal prepping. One of them, uh, I should say not one of them, the first step is to plan it, right? Is to just set the time aside, right? And figure it out. So you're going to need to plan a time to, to plan, right? Set aside the time like, okay, our general time that we prep is going to be on Sundays. Sundays, mornings, after I'm done with my church services, generally that's when, before we go over to her parents for a family dinner, that's our time to meal prep. And we have it worked out pretty well now where we can get everything done in about a half hour for what we generally have. Um, when we first started, it took us about 45 minutes to an hour. And depending on what we do, right, depending on what we make, it's going to take longer. It's going to take those 45 minutes to make once you get that pattern down, right? It's going to take longer at first. That's okay. So the first step is to find the time. Set aside the time so you can be successful. That's step one. Step two is to plan it, right? So you're planning out your meals and you're writing it down. So what does that mean? Well, that means figuring out, okay... You know, what am I going to make this week? What do I want to have for lunches each week? What do I want to have for breakfast? What do I want for dinner? And this could seem like a very big and daunting task to many people. Uh, it's daunting to me, right? Um, sitting down and planning it out. Thankfully, um, as far as meal prepping goes, Katie and I have that system figured out where we're actually okay with kind of having the same thing every single lunch throughout the school year. In summers, we mix it up because we're both teachers. But in the school year, it's pretty much the same meal every time. Now, I mix it up. Um, we have salads. I'll show you. I'll walk you through how we do our salads. And so you can kind of see what we do. 
Um, again, we usually meal prep on Sundays, but um, I ran a half marathon yesterday. I was pretty tired after that, and uh, we didn't meal prep. I, we didn't go shopping. We didn't do any of that. So I did that right before this video, and Katie um, and I were just finishing meal prepping. She's finishing up right now, as a matter of fact. So um, I can do this video, and we can show you some of the steps in between. So thank you, Katie, for doing that. Um, you betcha. There we go. See, she talked on video. It's amazing. She doesn't want me to film her at all. Um, so, write down what you want, right? It's easy for us because, okay, we want these salads and we know what goes in it. But, you know, maybe you don't want that, right? Maybe, you know, different things. For breakfast, for me, it's pretty basic for us. Um, sometimes we'll do overnight oats, right? Um, I find the recipe for that and do overnight oats, and I plan that the night before, get it set, wake up, boom. Workout, after my workout, breakfast is done. Um, other times I make eggs, right? I do eggs, and I do two pieces of eggs and pancakes. Um, and like the banana oat pancakes from the 21 day fix book. I have a live video of me cooking those as well. You can check that out on our YouTube page. Um, or I'll do crepes. There's a live video of that. Wow, all these favorite, favorite things of mine. Um, you can check those out. Uh, uh, again, on our YouTube page for these live videos of, of the breakfast foods. We do that and I make it every day. I do set the time aside. Um, there was a time where I just did a bowl of cereal and milk in the morning. That works. It does get you some nutrients, right? It, it's healthier than Going after a Snickers bar, and it's a heck of a lot healthier than not having breakfast. Uh, breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. Go for it. You should make something, um, even if it's a bowl of cereal, uh, at the very least. But really, if you could take that extra 15 minutes and and devote that time just to making yourself breakfast, sitting down, eating it, it, it it's going to pay dividends for you. It really will. Um, one of the keys to success, um, you know, if you've listened to Eric Worre or um, Darren Hardy or any of those people, um, and, and many others, they tell you one of the keys to success is to finding the time for you. And it's different for everybody, but a lot of people, the time for them that they work out is before their kids wake up um, and, and in the morning, right? That's your time that they work out a lot of the time. Now, it might be different for you, and that's cool, but they do these things to, to find themselves. Uh, if you are a religious person, they, they might read the Bible at the time or some verses and reflect. Um, and for me, um, that's my time that I work out. I think about the day ahead. I think about what I have to do. And as I'm making my breakfast and I'm sitting down eating breakfast, I, I'm still going through my day mentally getting ready and, and preparing for it. And that's when sometimes I'll, I'll hit up my social media and do stuff like that. Although I always try waiting to the very end for that. That's my time, right? That I, I devote to myself. I give myself that 15 minutes in the morning. Um, that, you know, or 20 minutes I'm making breakfast and eating it and doing that. So find that time for you. So um, write down, <laughs> we're going, I'm kind of jumping around here, but for step two, it is writing down your meals. What do you want for each week? Plan it out so that when you go, go on your shopping trip, you know exactly what ingredients you need, you know how much of it you need, and you know what to make. So um, the big thing is when you set aside that time for whatever day it's on, right, that you're planning to set aside, right, for us it's Sundays, is you need to make sure you have enough time to cook it all, to bake it, to do whatever you need to do or to prep it, right? So um, first time it's going to take longer, second time it's going to take longer, but the more you do it, by the third time, fourth time, you're getting in the groove of it, and you're going to figure it out and you'll be faster with it. So, you know, plan, plan your recipes. Maybe you're going to have you know, the little meatloaf um, ball things, right, for lunches. Awesome, do that. And maybe you have that for three days of the week, and the other two days you have salads. So you make sure you buy the ingredients you need and, and plan the time to prep it. And, and that's really the two big key success is making sure you have the time to, to prep. Again, it all depends what you're making for Katie and I for salads. It takes us a half hour for the two of us to do it. Um, if you have kids at home, right, it might take a little longer. The kids are running all around. But you know what, maybe... In, no, not maybe, involve them. They would love to be part of that process, I'm sure, as long as you know, they don't cut their fingers off or something crazy. Um, involve them, have them help you make it and show them what success looks like, what it feels like, and, and showing that you care about yourself and you care about them. All right, so those are the two uh, first two steps. The third step in the process uh, uh, to be successful at meal prepping is honestly, it's containers. I, I will tell you this, it is... Tupperware containers, it is Pyrex containers, stuff you can put a meal into and be set so that in the mornings all you have to do is you go in the fridge, you grab it, you put it in your lunchbox, 
done, right? You get your utensils in there and whatever else. That's all you need. That is like the biggest key to success, in my opinion. Katie's shaking her head yes over there, is the containers, right? So find yourself a set of containers that work for you. Oh my gosh, it, it makes a world of difference. There's Tupperware containers, Pyrex glass ones, all these things. Let me show you what Katie and I do here. So I'm gonna take you off the stand here. Um, there we go, so screen's a little wonky. You're roaming around in my hand right now. Woo, fun. Okay, so let me show you here. You're on my iPad, so I'm sorry if it gets a little crazy. So here are different containers, right? So we have these Pyrex containers. They're like little dishes here that you can easily put in there. You could put mm, a small turkey breast uh, or half turkey breast of a bigger one and um, some carbs in there. Um, what else could you put in there? Um, man, so much. Um, same thing with this. This is a great dish. Um, this is what it says on the bottom. I think this is two cups, something like that. Um, that you can easily put in uh, some pasta in there, right, or some healthy carbs, maybe uh, two baby red potatoes and some protein of your choice right in that container. Awesome. Love it. Got a bigger one here. Now, this one is not one I would necessarily take for lunches unless you're you know, having something bigger, uh, a little messier than some plate-sized one, but that would work well. Um, also works great for storing extras uh, in the refrigerator. We got our containers, right? So if you're doing the fix aid, uh, or sorry, if you're doing like 21 day fix program, hardcore 22, um, what else? Hammer chisel, any programs like that now, you're going to see it comes with these containers, these portion control containers. And what this portion control containers do, let me turn. So what those do is they essentially, depending on your weight, your goal, your activity levels and all that, it tells you how many of those containers you get a day. So it's not like you get like one of these, right? I mean, okay. It might uh, try giving you like, okay, it's right against my cheek. So you kind of see how big it is. It's a decent size. This is a bigger one for fruit. It's not like you just get one of those a day. You get multiples of those a day. And it just depends on, you know, how heavy you are and your goals that you're, you know, trying to gain weight, maintain weight, gain weight, you know, whatever, lose weight, whatever it is. Um, so you're set for, you know, for your, your success, for your, um, your goals, right? So they tell you all these different things. So I have those aside so I can make sure I measure out that we put in the containers and then I'm going to around again. Now, these are phenomenal. Absolutely love these containers. Let me get it out here. When Katie found these online, she found them on Amazon, I believe, they are just like the bee's knees. So again, we have salads for lunches, and here we go. So you get a nice deep dish. I think this holds four cups. We measured it out, it holds four cups of vegetables. So that's four of these, my thumb out of the way, four of those containers. And we pack it with spinach and um, lettuce. What else do we have? We have kale in there, carrots. You know, we get four containers stuffed in there. And then they have this cool little lid here, and it comes with the utensils on the bottom, right? And it just slides right on top there, and it gives you a place to put, if you have cheese or eggs and stuff like that, right up there. And then it even has a little salad dressing container uh, right up on top that you could put that on. Even with it screwed up on, on top, it seals down. And then I'll tell you when I get to work, um, if Pam, if you're watching, or Sam, you're watching, if, uh, if you've ever been in the lunchroom with me, you hear me, you know, I start shaking it up, because I'll pour the dressing on, I'll take the utensils out, and I just shake it, and bam, there is my, my salad, there's my lunch, right, ready to rock and roll. Um, I'll show you what we have already. Katie just finished meal prepping, as I said. So here, here's essentially what my lunch looks like for the week. I have my salad dressing, measured out from those containers, boom. I have a hard-boiled egg in each one, so that's half a protein. And then I have, this one we have spinach, kale, lettuce, and broccoli in there. We ran out of carrots and I forgot to buy some because I'm a slacker. Um, but that's what my lunch looks like right there. And then over here we have, you saw my dirty kitchen. Yay, I was just in the middle of doing dishes. Then we have the extra little fun stuff, right? So this is like my naughty, um, tasty stuff. I have sunflower seeds, I have some little bacon bits, and then just a very small handful, like five or six uh, croutons. All right, so that's my little 
you know, little naughtiness for lunches and tasty stuff. Um, I don't put cheese on my salads anymore. I don't really miss it, actually, believe it or not. So um, Katie does. That's cool. She loves it. Awesome. So here's what your fridge looks like. And now, mind you, i got to put my salad containers in here. But here's what my refrigerator looks like when I'm done. All right. So I grab a salad container, put it in my lunchbox. And then I grab a Greek yogurt. Like, I, I love these uh, Light and Fit uh, from Dan and Greek yogurts. Absolutely awesome. Get that. And there's, you know, all this stuff we did go out to eat, so there's a little bit of naughtiness right there. Got carrots down there. I'll pack, um, I'll pre-pack little baby carrots, as you can see here. All set, ready to rock and roll for my snack. All right. So, excuse me, Vlad. Thanks, bud. So, let me put you back on the stand here. But that, those are the containers, and those are the containers I use to be successful um, because, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have salads, and I'm okay with having salads all the time, um, and I will mix it up. Um, today I brought some leftovers. Um, we had lasagna, some really delicious lasagna from my in-laws yesterday, so I brought that for lunch today. And you know what? It's going to be okay. Um, I planned out, I portioned it out, I was good about it, we are set. So um, containers, as far as that goes, find what works for you. They are a lifesaver. They will lead you to success. So first step. Set the time aside. You need to set the time aside. Second step, plan out your meals. Know what you're going to do. Know what you need to buy and all that good stuff. And third, let's get the right containers. Now, we tried making do with our other Tupperware containers, you know, the big four cup ones. And yeah, it worked, but it just made more stuff to grab and more stuff that you could potentially forget. And honestly, get the right containers. There's containers out there. You can check Amazon. You can check different websites that are like long. Hold on. Um that are like these containers, right? Like this, but they have like sections in them, right? Remember like your kid's plate, or maybe you have plates like that for your kids that have like sections in it. They make them for meal prepping. That's what it's there for. Check them out, they are awesome. So if you have, you know, more like a dinner style thing, like if you have um, meatloaf or chicken and um, potatoes and a veggie or something like that in there, those containers are the bomb. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, two more tips. Um, the second, or fourth tip, so number four of our five is use leftovers, right? So I use leftovers for my lunch today. Maybe you make um, a big dinner, and, and one thing that we don't do is we don't plan out our dinners necessarily. We kind of have an idea, and I'll go buy, you know, some turkey meat or some things like, you know, I think I'll make this this week. But uh, we don't have a hard and fast and like, we're going to make this um, for our dinners. So we luck out that way. But maybe you do. Maybe that's what works best for you is to plan those out and then do it. Go ahead. And so plan your dinners out and maybe make extra so that you could take them for lunch the next day or the next day after that, right? Two days away so that you're mixing up your lunches and you're mixing up your meals. It's going to keep you interested, going to keep you healthy and keep you on point with your diet. So the fourth tip is use leftovers for your lunches if you don't want the same old thing. It's going to be huge. It's going to keep you interested with what you're doing. All right. And then our fifth and final tip for meal prepping success is prep the night before for those big meals, right? So if you're planning dinners, right, and, you know, I'll tell you for me, uh, I wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Uh, minus the weekends, I wake up about, about 6, but um, during the week, I wake up at 4 a.m., I get up, I work out, I shower, and I eat breakfast, I make breakfast for Katie, and I load up, and I'm gone out of the house by 6.30 in the morning, and I don't get back till some days 4.30, some days 7, 8 o'clock at night, and when, you know, when I get home at 4.30, I love cooking, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it, but sometimes the whole prepping part of it, I don't want to do. So what do you do? You prep it the night before, right? You take that 15 minutes and you prep it. Or even better yet, if you know what you can do and if you're able to, prep it on Sunday and then put it in the container so you're set to go and put it in the refrigerator. Find a spot in there so that when you're ready to make it on Wednesday night, all you have to do is put it in the container, start the oven, or cook it so you are set up for success that way. Do that prepping beforehand. Again, that leads you back to number one and number two, setting the time aside to do it, 
and planning it, right? If you can plan it, you can succeed with it. So those are my five tips. Again, I'll run through them really quickly. Number one, you make the time. You set the time aside and you do it. Two, you plan it out and you actually physically write it down. So as you write it in your computer or tablet or phone or something like that, but write it down. Number three, find a container that works for you and works for the meals that you make, right? Spend the money on it. Yes, it's spending money, but you will not regret it in the least. I almost said like you will. You won't regret it. They are awesome. And um, four is to mix up your meals by having leftovers, using leftovers and all that. And five, um, make sure that you prep. If you're doing dinners or something like that, prep it beforehand, right? So prep it on Sunday and prep it the night before so that you leave yourself up to success, especially with fall and winter coming up. Check out Crock-Pot meals. Um, there's so many healthy Crock-Pot meals out there. Maybe we'll do a live video of one of those and they are just phenomenal. You start it, and you prep it the night before, you plug it in in the morning and set it and you are set to rock and roll. Um, so Katie put on here, Systema containers are the bomb, and those are the containers we use for our salad. So check those out if you like. Absolutely love them and all that. Um, okay, so if you would like more tips uh, with this fitness stuff uh, for cooking tips, uh, whether it's you know weekly tips, workout moves, all that good stuff, subscribe to our weekly newsletter. It's delivered every Thursday morning into your inbox, so you get to hear from me. It's a good or bad thing, I guess. Um, I have fitness articles that are outdoor related um, and workout moves and you know what's coming up next in our live shows. You are the only people, the people in the newsletter know what's coming up with um, these live videos. So check it out, subscribe. The link is in the comments or in the post above this or below it, wherever it is, up there, down there, somewhere. Um, so check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Please share this with your friends, your family, tag them in this and like Jones and Get Fit. Appreciate all all y'all and great. Have a wonderful night and go meal prep for some success. Go get fit. <laughs>